Hello year 6 kids. Today's class we shall be discussing control system. So at the end of today's class, we should be able to explain a control system and give five examples of a control system around us. So let's begin. What do you think the traffic light, pressing iron, a microwave oven, a washing machine, a vending machine, a GPS, an elevator have in common. They all have control system in them. So what is a control system now? A control system is a system that manages and commands all other devices. It's a system that manages and commands all other devices. For instance, Imagine a boy closes his eyes to eat chocolate. His tongue tastes the chocolate and sends the information to his brain. And then from the brain, the boy then knows that it's the chocolate he's eating. So the tongue tasting it is the sensor. The brain converting it is a processor. And at the end, the boy knows what he's eating, the chocolate, which is the output. You can also explain it this way. We are in an elevator and then typing the numbers on the floor they're going to with the inputs. Once the floor starts counting, that is the process. So it's the processor. And then the door opens for you to come out, which is the output. Another way you can explain it. Placing your microwave, your food in a microwave and typing how long you want to heat, it's the input. Processing while it is working is the processor. And then the output is when the timer ends and your food is warm. Also, imagine the traffic light stops for people to cross. It senses that there's no car. And then, once it knows that everyone has crossed, that's the processing. It shows green so that cars can then pass, which is the output. So in all of this, this explains the concept of the control system, the input, the processing, and the output. The input is the sensor, it sends information to the processor, and then the processor reads the information and sends it to the output. So there are three components of the control system. The input is the sensor sending information to the processor and then the output which is the final result that you are seeing so let us use another analogy the input is the sensor it receives the data and then it sends it to the processor which converts or transforms the data that has read and it gives it back to you who is the user as an output and it displays the results Imagine you're typing a keyboard. The keyboard is the input. So it senses what you're typing. And it sends the information to the processor, which is inside the system unit. And finally, your result shows on the monitor as an output. So if you type A on the keyboard, it first of all goes to the system unit processor. And it shows you A on the monitor of the computer. Just imagine also when you are doing your robotic class. When you place your Arduino and your ultrasonic sensor, when the ultrasonic sensor reads something in front of it, which is the input, it tells the Arduino, which is the processor, that something is in front of it, and then the tires stop rolling, it turns around and it turns away from that obstacle. That is another way a control system works. Thanks for watching.